We begin with some late-breaking developments in the case of former police officer Derek Chauvin. This afternoon, he filed a motion in court to have his conviction in the murder of George Floyd thrown out. Carol Levin's Lou Raguse joins us to explain and give us some context tonight. Lou? Well, Randy and Julie, the deadline for a motion like this is two weeks after the verdict, so the timing was expected. The motion is not a big surprise. Judge Peter Cahill already ruled on most of defense attorney Eric Nelson's claims such as that the jury should have been sequestered and the trial moved to a different county. However, there is just one part that's out of the ordinary here, and that involves Nelson's request for a hearing in which jurors can be questioned about potential misconduct. Although Nelson won't specify until his next filing, legal experts believe he will reference Brandon Mitchell, Mitchell who's juror number 52, who did a number of interviews, including one here at CARE 11 last week, after he voluntarily made his name public, Someone then searched his Facebook profile and they found this photo. If Judge Cahill grants what's called a Schwartz hearing, then Mitchell could be potentially questioned about it in court. This Facebook photo of Brandon Mitchell was posted by his uncle last August, long before Mitchell knew he'd be the only African-American man on the jury for Derek Chauvin's trial. It was taken in Washington, D.C., showing Mitchell in a T-shirt that says, Get your knee off our necks. Now Chauvin's attorney is asking for a new trial as a result. Well, it could be a big deal. Attorney Brock Hunter, who watched the entire trial, says defense attorney Eric Nelson will likely claim Mitchell wasn't fully truthful in jury selection. Mitchell answered no on the jury questionnaire when asked if he participated in any demonstrations against police brutality in Minneapolis after George Floyd's death and whether he participated in other protests about police use of force or police brutality. The Facebook photo was taken while Mitchell was in Washington, D.C., attending the 2020 Virtual March on Washington, an event commemorating the anniversary of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Mitchell told me today the event focused on voter turnout in his shirt had no affiliation with a George Floyd protest. But the event did include speeches that called for police reform. We must pass legislation to ensure that there is police reform. And that referenced George Floyd's death. That are all included in the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. I would assume that this is going to require what's called a Schwartz hearing in which the judge would call Mr. Mitchell in and put him under oath uh, to testify and he'd be subject to questioning by both the state and the defense and perhaps Judge Cahill as well. Hunter believes if Judge Peter Cahill holds a Schwartz hearing, Nelson would focus on Mitchell's shirt and the reference to Chauvin's knee on Floyd's neck. While prosecutors would likely argue that Mitchell was open in jury selection about his belief that black lives matter and that police discrimination exists. This. Nelson never asked Mitchell about protests. Here is their exchange about Black Lives Matter. I, apologize? I don't um, I don't know Black Lives Matter as an organization. Okay. That's I don't I don't know it as an organization. So maybe that's I mean I don't know if that's how the question said. I don't know if it said Black Lives Matter organization. I don't I don't view it as that, so I don't okay. that's not how I subscribe to that. So I think it's been in previous quite in previous jurors. It's been sort of somewhat described as a movement on one hand and organization. There's I don't a... think of it as either. I just think of it as a statement. Okay, fair enough. So the question is, could this really lead to a new trial? Most legal ex experts that I talk to think that it is unlikely, but that is up to Judge Cahill right now since Chauvin hasn't been sentenced. After the sentencing, then it becomes an issue for appeals. Eric Nelson declined to comment today. The attorney general's office said in a statement, quote, the court has already rejected many of these arguments and the state will vigorously oppose them. Julie. Well, as you well know, Lou, this has been the subject of lots of debate on social media and, mm -hmm. and the t-shirt is of particular concern to a lot of laymen out there who are just seeing this on social media and trying to understand uh, what is your understanding of his explanation of being at that march on Washington uh, and how would you explain it to people that say, well, how can he say he wasn't at a police protest and he's wearing a shirt that clearly references George Floyd? Well, he says when he thinks about that rally that he went to and his reasons for going there, he wasn't going to a rally about police discrimination or a rally about police reform. It was on the anniversary of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, and it was a chance to stand where Martin Luther King stood when he gave that speech. And uh, it was a, a collection of mostly black Americans uh, who were all there uh, 
together for those reasons. And he said that the shirt itself was a reflection of the events of 2020, not specifically a reference to Derek Chauvin and the death of George Floyd itself. All right. Thank you, Lou. Mm -hmm.